So I'm working on the condenser, dryer, vintage air, putting that into this 55 Chevy pickup. Got to make some modifications to the uh, core support. One of the things is you take out, there's an X brace here. The instructions are really good. Take that out. All I did was grind the rivet, pop it out. You got four rivets you got to uh, grind. The other thing is, is an inch and a quarter hole that they specify. They give you really good instructions on where to put it. And just follow that. That's where these uh, tubes are going to come through. I'll tip this up and give you a better view. But one of the things I wanted to talk about is um, it said on the core support that you didn't have to modify it if it was a V8. And I think that's backwards. Because I had to modify mine, and my frame's a V8. The core support's in the V8 location, which brought the condenser closer to the latch. And I uh, checked it out, and it was... I had to cut it off, like I said, to do for the six-cylinder, but this is an eight. And I also had to fix the latch, because over the years, the latch bent a little bit. There is a piece right here. Gonna take it off. Let me uh, show you in a minute, but I'll talk about it now. Then I'll, I'll bring over the camera or bring it over to the camera. But there's a piece in here that holds this. This is to grab to unlatch it. You know, when you go on the hood, you grab the pull. That's what this is. And there is a bar that stops this from moving down any further. Well, over the years, it's bent down a little bit. So this was actually hitting the condenser when it was in its rest position. The other thing is the core support, even after I cut it, was just barely hitting the condenser. What I had to do to make it work, and all these parts always realize you might have to modify them. But what I had to do was there's bends in the brace, and I'll, I'll fill in the brace piece. But there's uh, some bends in it, and I had to smooth out the bends because even when I lined it up to my core support, the holes did line up. Now, I'm not going with a standard 55 Chevy radiator. What I'm doing is I'm going with a, since it's an LS3, I'm going to go with an LS radiator. Let me turn this around. So... There are all these brackets here that hold the condenser on. When I put them where they were supposed to be, they just barely fit the holes. And I was to barely get five out of the six screws in. And that actually pushed the condenser further out towards the course, towards the uh, lock. So what I did was I flattened out these edges basically that expanded the supports and pulled it back in and gave me about an eighth of an inch every little piece helps. So that went in pretty good after I fixed that. I had to modify that. Even after that, this latch, the pull here, was hidden. And so I had to modify this. What I did was I took some of the bend, there's a curve here, took some of that out. I'm gonna pause it and take it apart for a second. Show you what I'm talking about. Here's what I'm gonna show you. So a couple of things I had to do to this. Um, let me see if you can see that. Okay. Right in here, I had to take this bend out right here to get this to move a little bit. So I only took a hit with a hammer once or twice. I had to cut this piece off here. You know, as I stated for the six cylinder, this is the eight, the V8 with the V8 frame. One other thing I had to do is, I don't know if you can see that, I'm gonna to try to get it, get the light right. But 
that little tab right there holds this piece. That's what it rests on when it's in its rest position. And there's a piece over here that it hits. Just got to make sure that you don't get it too tight. So what I did was by straight, whoops, by straightening this piece, it comes out over here, which is that little tab right in there. Straightening that, I was able to get this to rest right. So once I put it all together, it didn't hit the condenser. So you got to make sure you do those things. Because when you put this together, if this guy over years is bent in, you're going to hit the condenser because it's going to rest right on it. And you're going to wind up smacking it. So a couple of little tweaks, checking, make sure this fits. So the other thing I had to make sure, um, all the connectors fit in and stuff. Wanted to make sure I had these as low as they can get because I'm using a different radiator. Hold on, I'll get it. This is a So a uh, US radiator for a 55 to 57, you might go up to 59, with an LS engine. So comes with the LS size, inlets and outlets, and also I got a tranny cooler in it. It is a newer style, it is a lot thicker, and it's going to take a lot more space in between my engine compartment and where this is going to go. Now, did I put that in upside down? Yes, I did. No, nope, that's right. Yeah, upside down. So, it really goes like this. Now, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to bring the camera over. So, I'm going to pause it, bring it over and show you the layout. All right, so that's going to be the look on how it's going to fit in there. The uh, dry's in a good spot. It's real close. I might have to do something with the... They give you these nails in there, if you can see that. And where this guy fits, it's going to be real close. So I might swap those out for some kind of nut and bolt setup. I'm not sure yet, but i got to figure figure out what to do with that because that is if you can see it right in there that screw right into the radiator it's very close but uh i really like the u.s radiator setup and with the vintage air and the way it's going to all work you can see how fat that thing is right uh, that's going to take a lot of space once I put the hoses and everything else in there, uh, it's going to eat up my space uh, between the support and the engine. It's going to be real tight, but I, I'm going to make it work. So, oh, a couple of things. Because, and I got a video on installing the uh, US radiator, but, uh, there was a brace here that had been cut out right here. came up here. It was right in here. That had been cut out to make that fit. So if you go do this whole LS thing, you got a couple of cuts here. You got to take out. Finish air, you got to drill a hole here. Got to take the uh, little uh, X brace off the front. Oops. Get too much into the sun coming out that door. All 
But that's about it for the vintage air condenser dryer install. Simple. Just make sure that you uh, mock up some of the pieces to make sure nothing hits. You don't want to put it all together, crush the condenser, put a hole in it or something. Have a great day. Bye.